So I wanna talk about the death of your PhD and how to actually avoid it. So if you don't know me, I am Professor Dave Massack. I'm an Associate Professor of Innovation Strategy and Entrepreneurship, and I created this whole reciprocity project to give back as much as I possibly can. There's so many people that help me out and I wanna pay the favor for it to help you out as much as I possibly can. I'm on a road trip right now. It's my kids. They We've got a field trip and I am a chaperone. So I'm super excited about this. It's, it's fun, fun, fun. Just drove for three hours. And now I get to have a little quick chat with you. All right. So how do you avoid the death of your PhD? The quickest thing that you can do to avoid the death of your PhD is to just apply yourself every day. Imagine yourself as a worker bee of some sort, right? Your job as a worker bee is just to put in five hours. That's it. Five hours, six hours, whatever it is you're putting in, and that's the time that you're going to work at it. And that's all you really need to do is put in that limited amount of time, whether it's five, whether it's eight. I would not recommend more than 10 hours because it just gets too much over time. And what you need to do is just get up and do those things every day. So there's a simple rule that I was told when I was doing my PhD, and it's a simple rule that I tell everybody else that ever sort of interacts with me. I'm okay with give, giving anybody feedback as long as they write just one word. And that's all you need to do. That's all that matters is to put in the work every day. It sucks. You're not going to like it. And you're going to feel like everybody else is doing all this other kind of stuff. And it feels like you're so behind and you don't know anything. And that is totally fine. You don't know everything at this moment. You just have to get up and keep going and taking those little steps every day. Working a little bit, writing a little bit. That's all it takes every single day. You'll look around you and everybody else is doing so much better than you. You'll look around you and they have all these really cool articles. You'll look around you and everybody looks like they're so put together. Trust me, that's what's going to happen. But ultimately, that doesn't matter. What matters is the fact that you're actually just putting in the work. And you're looking at yourself and you're looking at, hey, wait a minute, I can do this. Everybody else is doing all this other stuff. But I can do this one little thing and I could do that every day. I can get up and I can get going and I can focus on my work. So here's the thing. You don't have to do this all the time and you don't have to do it. You can go for months without doing it. You're not going to accomplish anything. But what ends up happening is once you get into the mode of this, you just pretend it's your job and you're just putting in this little tiny work. It's not, there's nothing magical about any of this kind of stuff. It's not, you're not, your life is not going to get turned upside down and all that kind of stuff. Like that's garbage. All of that sort of, you know, that this is some sort of highfalutin thing. That's absolute garbage. What you just need to do is just put in the work. You're carrying that lunch pail, that lunch pail into work, doing the, the sort of, you know, working in the coal mine every day or, you know, working as, um, I don't know, whatever it is, whatever you're looking at. You're just going in and you're doing your job and then you go home and you live your life and that's it. Anybody that sort of forgets about this thing and gets their mind wrapped up in that, oh, this thing is so hard or I have to do such an amazing job, they stop doing it. They ultimately stop and they realize that they are not going to be able to do this thing. You have to just come in and put in the work. And then when you put in the work, what's going to happen is that you send it to somebody. Somebody's going to say, whatever you've written on, they're going to shit on it. They're going to say that this is horrible. And it always is the same thing. It's the same thing. You're going to send it to your PhD student. You're going to send it to your advisor. They're going to crap on it. And they're going to say, this is horrible. And they'll send it back. Now, um, to the extent of how good your advisor is, they're going to crap on it in different ways right? Um, if you are a professor at this moment, you're going to send it off to a journal, they're going to crap on it, and they're going to send it back. And, and they're going to say everything is wrong, whatever, who cares, right? You take it, you whittle it down, and you turn it into something. It's like this big rock that you just made. You made this big rock, you, you kind of lugged it in from outside. And the, the rock is kind of like, it's ugly. I mean, it's a rock. It's, it's, it's beautiful in its own right. But it's still ugly. It's still like a rock. So 
what you're doing is you're going to carve it out and you can, it's going to kind of look like a stick figure when you sort of work on this or maybe like kind of like a bobblehead. And then, you know, the instructor, advisor, reviewer, whoever it is, some external person, some critic is going to come by and they're going to say, well, you need to do this, that, and the other thing. And you say, sure, fine. Okay. And then you do it. And then it gets a little better. It looks a little sharper. And then you do it again and you do it again and you do it again until it looks pretty good. Um, good enough that you're like, yeah, that's pretty good. I didn't expect that I'd be able to do that. Then you submit it or do something along the ways where you work on that particular thing. Look at, look at, that's where we're actually in St. Augustine right now. It's a really beautiful town. That's a little trolley that goes by. By the way, if you haven't gone to St. Augustine, highly recommend it. It's really cool. Okay, so that's all you need to do is just keep doing your thing every day. You're not going to die at your PhD what ends up happening is your soul dies. That's what dies. Inside, inside, you get sucked up. And I guarantee it's going to happen to everybody. Y'all going to have like all these sort of imaginary, I, it happened to me. I was like, you know, I was a good student, um, a really good student. And, you know, everybody else was really good students around me as well. And guess what? Your soul dies in it. And, and the, the re way that you sort of don't let it your soul die as you say it's just a freaking job and who cares about it in the first place just do your job shovel that 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 shovel and then go and leave and then go have your beer at the end of the day honestly that's it simple uh if you start getting that mindset in your head you're not gonna lose focus you're not gonna nothing's gonna happen you're not gonna die at it you're just gonna keep going and enjoying your life that's it all right, take care and have a wonderful day. All right, bye.